Lights, Camera, Barking, The World of Dog Actors by Kathian M. Kowalski. Do you marvel at how movie dogs get their daring rescue scenes just right? Ever wonder how TV dogs know just when to nuzzle up to their owners? Not just any old dog can show can show up on the set and become a star. Lots of hard work goes on behind the scenes. Wanted, professional people loving pooches. We're looking for animals that are outgoing and very people friendly, says trainer Mathfield Dick Hagney at Birds and Animals Unlimited in California. She has trained dozens of star canines, including Moose, Eddie on Frasier, Enzo, my dog Skip, and Shadow, Homeward Bound. About 80% of the dogs and cats that are used in film are shelter rescues or shelter placements, notes Marie Ballou Wheatley, president and CEO of the American Humane Association. These are animals that have been saved and go on to be actors. Even if prior owners had troubling, trouble handling them, trainers can work with mo- the most problem behaviors except biting. At first, Shadow was very anxious and insecure. Dick Cagney built up his confidence little by little. In contrast, Moose was extremely hyper, rebellious, and mischievous. With his huge ego, he actually enjoyed battles. Since I could see that he wanted to fight, I decided I wasn't going to do any of that with him, Dick Hagney says. Instead, she let him fight with a sandbag. He would get frustrated and eventually give up. When Moose heeded her, however, he got positive attention in return. Many dogs love treats as a reward. Others work for praise, petting, or other attention. Still, other dogs have favorite toys or stuffed animals. You need to be able to read your animal's mind, says Dick Hagney. That means first thinking like a dog in general, and then putting yourself in the position of the unique animal you're working with. Ideally, trainers build from dogs' natural instincts and guide them into learning things so that the dogs don't realize they're working, because that that way they stay really happy and it's not a job, Decagney adds. It's a game. Ready on the set. It takes about four months if you spend every day to get a well-trained dog, says Decagney. Acting dogs learn lots of behaviors to look like they belong in a story. They also learn to behave prof- professionally so that, that they don't disrupt others on set, the set. After reviewing scene details with trainers, many productions rehearse with a stuffed animal. That way, the lighting and other technical de- details can be checked. Next comes rehearsal with the animal. Finally, they shoot the scene. Optimally, the animal gets it right on one or two takes. On screen, it may look like the dog comes when an actor calls his character's name. In reality, the trainer is four or five meters away, standing behind the camera and using hand gestures or other signals to cue the dog. Happy endings. If a dog whimpers on screen, the animal seems hurt or sad, but that's all right if the trainer taught the behavior and the animal wasn't really hurt, either physically or physiologically. Likewise, computer-assisted technology can make it look as though an animal went flying through the air when it, he didn't. What counts is how productions treat, a, treat acting animals in real life. To reassure viewers, many film productions invite safety representatives of the American Humane Association to visit their sets. Following detailed guidelines, representatives check to make sure that animals have adequate food and water. Are, are they comfortable, not too hot or too cold? Representatives also make sure that no cruel means are used to get the response seen on screen. If the production passes muster, the American Humane Association awards an end credit stating that no animals were harmed in the making of the film. By and large, producers want to do the right thing, notes Wheatley. After all, viewers care that acting animals receive humane treatment. That means a happy ending for everyone. All in a day's work. Dogs do lots of different jobs. Here are just a few canine careers. Rescue dogs can squeeze into tight spots or travel over rough terrain more easily than humans. Their keen sense of smell helps find survivors of a disaster or accident. Even if it's too late to find survivors, dogs can locate victims' remains. And the, the, after the September 2001 terrorist attack, this provided some comfort and closure to families. Guard dogs keep crime at bay. Working for both private and public facilities, they sound the alarm if something is amiss. Sniffers dogs help enforce the law. Some dogs detect illegal narcotics for custom agents and law enforcement agencies. Bomb squad dogs seek out various explosives. 
Then there's the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Beagle Brigade. They stop travelers from bringing in food that might harbor harmful pests of diseases. For over 75 years, guide dogs have helped people with disabilities. Some are seeing eye dogs that work with the blind. Others help deaf or wheelchair-bound people. Both dogs and their owners undergo extensive training. Therapy dogs help patients get better. Some dogs take part in individually tailored therapy. For example, they play games or walk with someone in rehab to help the other person get moving again. Other dogs are professional comfort givers. They visit patients in long-term care facilities to cheer them up. Herding dogs keep grounds, groups of animals together. Some work alongside ranchers. Others, including some border collies, can even round up their charges on their own. Number six, which is not the name of a dog who has been trained by trainer Mathiel de Cagney? A. Enzo, B. Frazier, C. Moose, D. Shadow. Number seven, part A. Based on the section, wanted professional people loving pooches, which ability is most important in a dog trainer? A, the ability to think of creative plots. B, the ability to greatly encourage people. C, the ability, ability to carefully observe behavior. D, the ability to see humor in all situations. Part B, which two sentences from the text best support your answer to part A? A, we're looking for animals that are outgoing and very people friendly. B, even if prior owners had trouble handling them, trainers can work with most people beha most problem behaviors except biting. C, when Moose heeded her, however, he got positive attention in return. D, you need to be able to read your animal's mind, says DeCagney. E, that means that that means first thinking like a dog in general, and then putting yourself in the position of the, the unique animal you're working with. Number eight, what is the main idea of this passage? Use at least two details from the text to support your answer. Number nine, which detail from the text best supports the main idea of this text? A, we also learn to behave professionally so they don't disrupt others on the set. B, likewise, computer-assisted technology can make it look as though an animal went flying though through the air when he didn't. C, dogs do lots of different jobs. D, both dogs and their owners undergo extensive training. Number 10. How would trainer Mathilde de Cagney most likely respond to a dog actor that liked to bark? Select all that apply. A. She would ignore him when he was barking. B. She would encourage other dogs to play with him. C. She would scold him until he did not bark anymore. D. She would decide that he could not be trained as an actor. E. She would figure out why he was barking. F. She would try to reward him when he did not bark.